We're asked to consider the tree drawn below. Suppose E is not chosen as the root. Does our choice of root vertex change the number of children E has? How about the number of grandchildren? How many are there of each? So to begin, notice if E is the root, since E is adjacent to B and F, E has two children. But our question is how many children E has when E is not the root? So let's say, for example, B is the root. We'll notice E and F are adjacent, but E is closer to the root, which indicates E is the parent and F is the child, indicating E has one child. And if we change the root to, let's say, C, that doesn't change. E and F are still adjacent. E is closer to the root. E is the parent and F is the child. And if we move the root to the right side of the tree, let's say we make F the root, E and B are adjacent, but E is closer to the root, indicating E is the parent and B is the child. E still has just one child. And the same is true if we made, let's say, H the root. Again, still, E and B are adjacent. E is closer to the root. E is the parent and B is the child. E still has one child. So if E is the root, E has two children. However, if E is not chosen as the root, E will always have one child. As a result, the number of children E has will not change if E is not the root. And now consider E's grandchildren. Remember, grandchildren are children of children. So if E is the root, notice how E has six grandchildren, A, C, D, G, H, and I. These are children of E's children. But again, the question deals with what if E is not the root? So let's say B is the root. So if B is the root, F is the child of E, and F has three children, which indicates G, H, and I are the grandchildren of E. And if we change the root, let's say to C again, still E and F are adjacent, where E is the parent and F is the child. F is the only child of E, which has three children, indicating E still has three grandchildren. And if we move the root to the right side, let's say the root is F, now B is the only child of E, and B has three children, still E has three grandchildren. And the same is true if we make H the root. Still, E has one child, and that child has three children, which are E's grandchildren. So similarly, if E is not chosen as the root, it will not change the number of grandchildren E has. E will always have three grandchildren. I hope you found this helpful.